So when you're working in Blender, you might run into a situation which you usually cannot overcome. And it's a situation like this, where maybe you have an edge, like this example, and you want to bevel that edge, but you can't simply because you have other geometry here in the way, right? Now, naturally, what you could do is you could go in here and you could start dissolving out, you know, the areas that are in the way and, you know, just continuously do that over and over and over. But not only is that inefficient, it might still might not be enough to actually get you the result that you want. So instead of, you know, dissolving this and also disrupting the shading at the same time, I'm going to show you a workaround. So obviously in a polygon software, we can't really bevel over other geometry because it's a polygon software, it's not a CAD software. This is a natural limitation. What we can actually do instead is we can take the faces that are adjacent to the edge we want to bevel, we can duplicate them with Shift and D, right click, P to separate by selection, and then you're gonna have this, uh, this shape right here and watch what we can do. I'm going to go ahead and press the forward slash key on the number pad and I'm just going to, in this case, dissolve out these vertices around here. It's okay to do this because we're going to be using this as a boolean without affecting the main shape. So what I can do is I can just take this, dissolve out whatever geometry I need to dissolve, then I can take this edge, let's go back into global view with forward slash on the numpad, and check this out. What I could basically do here is I could bevel the shape that we just duplicated. So say I wanted this bevel to basically be placed on the main object. So it would basically remove this area here and round it out. All we need to do is we need to take this object right here. I'm just going to scale it a little bit on the X so it's a bit longer, just like that. And yeah, that should be fine. And then we're just going to go here. I don't even need the shade smooth, doesn't matter. I'm gonna to go to generate, solidify. We're gonna solidify in the negative direction. Actually, in this case, I'll shade that auto smooth. And maybe just to avoid any conflicting geometry issues, I could even go in here and just uh, move some of these out. Doesn't really matter. I just don't want there to be any glitches. And then all I need to do is go in here, run a difference Boolean and well, do you know there still were some glitches to fix that you just change the boolean solver to exact and then just like that we have literally beveled over that geometry without affecting the main mesh now if you're using an exact boolean here when you apply that you're going to notice we have some junk that's just because the exact boolean is a bit glitchy very very easy to fix with the machine tools plugin you can actually just press three on the keyboard to clean up the junk then you can select everything, X, and then go to Limited Dissolve. Set this to about 0.1, so it's only dissolving the flat surfaces. And just like that, you have literally beveled over the area that was previously not possible. Now, if you're going to use the Limited Dissolve, be careful because it's also going to get rid of these redundant edges right here. So in that case, what you could actually do is you could maybe just go here to these areas and uh, just fill that stuff in manually if that bothers you clean up any junk and that's going to be fine as well and you'll still have these loops here just to kind of maintain the shading and that's a very very easy way to bevel over geometry that is normally impossible and that's all i got for you in today's video so hopefully that kind of gave you some value very easy trick a lot of people don't know about it but now you do and guys if you want to learn more tricks like this and you want to most importantly learn our entire hard surface modeling workflow in Blender in under two weeks of time with about 30 to 60 minutes a day. This is backed by nearly 5,000 students. We're getting people very, very good at Blender very quickly. We can do that for you as well. So if you're interested, click the link in the top of the description or in the pinned comment to learn more about our accelerator program. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.